Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Let's Play, this time, of Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Game Boy Color. Here we go, multiple options here. This is a game that I got with my Game Boy Color a very long time ago. And we have records, album, toy box. But first, we are going to take ahead of ourselves here. Select the file, we got World 3.1, new, new. Let's go ahead and start a new file here. And ba basically, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe is a a port of Super original Super Mario Brothers. And in here, if you press select on the screen, you can select between Mario and Luigi. Let's go ahead and use uh, Luigi's color scheme because if, as you remember in the original, this was not uh, Luigi's original color scheme. His original color scheme was white and green, well, white overalls and green hat and such. So, in this version, if you get the Fire Flower, he still stays green. He doesn't turn uh, red like he does, like he did in the original. There we go. Grab that. Beautiful. Let me just move on over. There you go. Oh, oh, nice. Five thousand points. And there we go. So basically, a port of the NES Classic, and this is a very, very good port with added stuff as well. But first, we're going to go through and play through the entire original Super Mario Brothers, and we need to achieve a high score at the same time. We need to make sure we hit uh, 400,000 points or more, because if we do that, then we get a an extra mode, if you will, and that extra mode, if you don't know what it is already, is a port of Super Mario Brothers uh, 2 Japan. So on the Game Boy Color. So, but obviously made easier. There we go. Oh, I missed one. Out of hell with that. Beautiful. Move on that. Move on through that way. My my God, something's wrong with my speech today. I've not been able to talk well since my earlier recording for uh, Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Color for Sunday Showcase, and now I'm struggling to get the right words here, and I missed the jump. There we go. Same rules applies. If you get a 6, 3, or 1, the fireworks will collide. And a good thing, too, is if you switch between Luigi and Mario, Mario still obtains his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, fire flower suit. Ooh, that was close. And you can see, like, the notes in this are just a tiny bit different, but not, you know, but... Oh, I missed it! I forgot about the platform. Yeah, the uh, smaller screen resolution means you're not going to be able to see as much. That was dumb. Let's try that again. There we go. Beautiful. Luckily, that's why you can push up or down on the D-pad, and you can see what's above you or what's below you. And since I was not smart enough to do that, I ended up dying twice. Must simple fix right then and there. We can get through the first four worlds in this episode, last four worlds in the next episode. But here we are into the castle. No, no, I did not want to do that. Beautiful. Nice. And you can see, my, whoa, whoa, that was close. Look at it, you can see that Mario's uh, running animation runs a bit slower than it does in the NES. And screw you, Bowser. And you can see his toad has animation. Peach also has animation too, uh, once you rescue her. And you can see at the end of every world, the fortress goes down with a couple of jumps. World 2-1, here we go. But yeah, this game was a game that I played a lot of as a kid. Oh my god. Um, my The original game that... Um, the first game that I ever got with my Game Boy Color was uh, Wario Land 2. And then when I saw that this was being made for the Game Boy Color, I asked my mom if she could get it for me. Which, you know, 
she gladly did because you know she she knew how much I love uh, Super Mario Brothers, and uh, based off of you know getting burned as a kid, that's a long story in and of itself. But um, or burned as a toddler, excuse me. But, uh, but yeah, but I did end up getting this, and I played the heck out of this. Like this, if I would like after school, after you know, if I wasn't in school playing or you know doing my studies and whatnot. As soon as I came home and had free time, this was the only thing I played. Beautiful, Ooh, nice. Managed to avoid the Koopa Troopa. Yeah, whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Ow. Yeah, it's a little. <laughs> this is not exactly like uh, the control. It doesn't control exactly like how you did in the original Super Mario Brothers. The controls are a little bit different. The feel of it's a little bit different. But if you play the original a lot, or if you played Super Mario All Stars version a lot, you should have no problem with this at all. Oh, and I just saw the timer glitch out for a second there. And we got the bloopers. We're underwater, and you can see that the water has animation up top there. So, basically, it takes the original Super Mario Brothers, add a few graphic enhancements, some sound enhancements, adds another mode, has some things, and it's also compatible with the Game Boy Printer, which, uh, unfortunately, I never got. Um, but basically, you could actually print off stickers and, uh, you know, like little badges and stuff for achieving certain requirements. That's what the album was that you saw in the very very beginning in, a, in the, the main screen after you press start. So you saw that there was an album. If you complete certain requirements, it fills up and you can actually print those out and use as uh, stickers, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Speed run level. Here come the cheap cheeps. All right. Watch out for them cheap cheeps. Oop. There we go. That was close. Nope, nope, not this time. There we go. Oh, oh, oh my god, how did I do that? Okay, never mind, just go. Beautiful. You get a sticker. I do remember this requirement for obtaining some of the stickers. You get a sticker for each, um, for each Bowser that you destroy using uh, the Fire Flower. So I gotta make it to the very end without getting hit. Take it easy. There we go. Whoa, watch out. Beautiful. Now, you can't, like, when you do obtain the stickers as soon as you complete the picture, uh, complete the picture for the photo album, that's when you can print it out. And here we go. Fortress 2 is down. I love the animation of this. I love the, uh, the, the, uh, that's just not a simple, you know, simple port in and of itself. Oh, and not doing that, uh, you know, dumbass hit with standing. You can also perform the one up trick as you could do in the original. There we go. There it is. Grab this star. Beautiful. Die, hammer, brother. Can I reach? Oh! I just want to see if that still works, but uh, it, it still does, which is cool. And you can go back a little bit, but you cannot go back too far like you would be able to in the original. So, but doing the one-up, doing the one-up trick is easier this time. And you can just keep doing this, and you do not have to worry about going into the negatives in terms of gaining lives. The lives do stop at 128, so you can just keep doing this all day if you wanted to. Because in the original Super Mario Bros. on the NES, if you get more than 128 lives, then your lives go into the negative. So if that happens and you die you automatically get a game over. So, with this, you don't have to worry about it, which was another thing I loved. Because I've had more than one occasion on the original Super Mario Brothers, I performed the trick, and thinking, like, it's oh, it's infinite, and then one more death later, and it's game over. I've had that happen to me on a few occasions. Beautiful. 
Nice. Another mode that they uh, implemented in here is also like a, a score attack mode in which you run through the levels again, but this time you have certain uh, certain things to get. You would have to get five red coins in every single level. You would have to find a Yoshi egg. You would have to get the high score. And I believe there was one more requirement. But I will show that off later on. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Just running through. The tricks still apply. Can I still... Oh, well, never mind. I was going to see if I could try to attempt to, you know, go over the flagpole. But, you know what? I, I think Mario just was not feeling it today, so... World 3-4, we are into the castle level already. And... That was stupid of me. Let's try that again. There we go. I was hoping I could use, uh, get fire flower power, but you know, it's not meant to be, I suppose. There we go. Ow! Hold up right to the face. Jump. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. Whee! Fortress down. World 4. Speed run level again. Does the same trick work in terms of piranha plants? We're going to find out right now. There we go. And... Well, not, not yet. We No, it does not. Okay. <laughs> This time, you run right into the son of a bitch. Yeah, in the original NES uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, with full speed, you can jump over the Piranha Plants because their hitbox are a bit, is a bit weird in that one. So let's just go ahead and... Beautiful. Let's go ahead and uh, finish through the rest of the level. Oh, that spiny almost got me. Yeah, that was a 2000 right there. Nice little firework there for you. With 50 lives, here we go. Nope. Also, you notice that the fire flower... Uh, it has like a purplish hue to it instead of a normal hue. By the way, that was the uh, warp. All right, go, Mario, go. Beautiful. Spe speed ran that level like there was no tomorrow. Beautiful. And I messed up the jump, of course. Only 100,000 points away from the high score. Again, 400,000 points is the requirement to obtain Super Mario Bros. 2 Famicom for the for the added challenge. At the end, why did I automatically slow down? Okay. And here we are in 4-3, the, the mushroom level, which, as a kid... The hell? Okay. Which, as a kid, I, I don't know why, but... Oh, okay, now I was just dumb. But for me, as a kid, I uh, like I know these are supposed to be mushrooms, but uh, for some reason, I thought they were like. Uh... Okay, nice to know that you still have uh, still have enough momentum to make it through. I always thought like these things were like it was like a uh, cheese pizza or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Yeah, I thought that was just like cheese and pepperoni on top of something tall. And I was just like, oh, it's probably covering the entire bread. Dun, dun, dun. Let me see. Uh, 228 left on the clock, so nope. Oh, man. If this was, uh, speaking of which, uh, at the time of this recording, uh, you know, it's, uh, what, 11? Yeah, 11 2018. We all know that the Nintendo Switch Online has been out for about a good couple of months at this point. 
Oh, and another thing different too from this in the original, you actually get chime signals if you take the uh, right path in the maze level. So. Down you go, Bowser. So yeah, that takes care of what? Four worlds down? Yep. And I guess I will save my uh, Nintendo, my, uh, my story for the next part. So, with that, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous night. Love, peace, and chicken grease to all of the awesome ones out there. And may you have yourselves a fabulous evening. Thank you.